Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice math problem, which is 16 to power x plus 20 to power x. This is equal to 25 to power x. What is the value of x? Now, let's provide the solution here. Now, we have 16 to power x plus 20 to power x. This is equal to 25 to power x. The first step here is to divide both signs by 16 to power x, 16 to power x, and also here 16 to power x. Let's simplify here, 16 to power x and 16 sim simplifies. So we have 1 plus, this is 20 to power x over 16 to power x. So this is equal to 25 raised to power x over 16 raised to power x. Now, the next step is that we can express 20 to power x and 16 to power x as here we have 1 plus 20 is the same thing as 5 times 4 divided by 16 which is 4 times 4. All this raised to power x, this is equal to 25. Now we can express 25 as 5 to power 2 over 16, which you can express as 4 to power 2. Now everything here raised to power x. The next step, step here is to simplify here. 4 and 4 simplifies. So we remain with four, 5 over 4. So we have 1 plus 5 over 4 raised to power x. This is equal to, now we have 5 to power 2 over 4 to power 2, everything here raised to power x. Now, you find that 5 to power 2 over 4 to power 2, this is in the form of a to power n over b to power n, which we can express as a over b raised to power n. Applying this exponent identity, or exponent property, then we'll have 1 plus 5 over 4 raised to the power x. This is equal to, now this is the same thing as 5 over 4 raised to the power 2, and then here raised to the power x. Now, as you can see here, 5 over 4 raised to the power 2 raised to the power x, this is in the form of a to the power n raised to the power m, which we can express as a to the power m raised to the power n. Applying this property, then we have here 1 plus 5 over 4 raised to the power x. This is equal to 5 over 4 raised to the power x, all this squared. So since we have 5 over 4 raised to the power x here, and we have 5 over 4 raised to the power x here, we can just say let 5 over 4 raised to the power x be equal to m. Now substituting the value of m, where we have 5 over 4 raised to the power x, then we'll have 1 plus m. This is equal to now here we have 5 over 4 raised to the power x squared, so this is the same thing as m squared. So let's take 1 plus m on the right hand side, we'll have m to the power 2, subtract m, minus 1, this is equal to 0. So now, this is a quadratic equation of the form a m squared plus b m plus c, this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 1, and c is also equal to minus 1. To solve for m1 and m2, we apply the quadratic formula that minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all this divided by 2 times a. 
substituting the values of a b and c in this formula we'll have minus minus 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is minus 1 squared subtract 4 times a which is 1 and then times c which is minus 1 all this divided by 2 times 1 the next step is that we have minus times minus 1 this is 1 plus or minus the square root of minus 1 squared which is 1 minus 4 times minus 1 so this is plus 4 then over 2 so this implies here we have 1 plus or minus the square root of 4 plus 1 this is 5 over 2 so this is what is m1 and m2 so we have m1 equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and we have m2 is equal to 1 subtract square root of 5 divided by 2 so this is the value of m1 and m2 if you recall here if you recall we send let 5 over 4 raised to power x being given as m. Now, substituting the values of m1 and m2, we find that we will have 5 over 4 raised to power x. This is equal to m1, which is 1, plus square root of 5 over and here we'll also have 5 over 4 raised to the power x this is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 now if we check the second part here which is 5 over 4 raised to the power x now we have that 5 over 4 raised to a certain number x this is a positive, this should give us a positive number. But if you check here, 1 minus square root of 5 over 2, this will give us a negative number. So, since we have 5 over 4 is power x should give us a positive number, so this part will be rejected. So, this part is rejected. And again, if we get, if you're solving for x here, if we get the logarithm of the x value here will have undefined result. Here we'll have undefined result. So this part is rejected. So let's proceed with 5 over 4 raised to the power x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. To solve for x, we introduce logarithm on both sides. Now to solve for x here, we introduce logarithm. We'll have log 5 over 4 raised to power x this is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 now the next step is that log 5 over 4 raised to power x this is in the form of log a to power n which you can express as n log a applying this power root property of logarithm then log 5 over 4 to the power x becomes x log 5 over 4 this is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 now we find that from here log 5 over 4 and log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 this is in the form of log a over b which you can express as rock a subtract rock b applying this logarithm property then this implies that we have here x into the parentheses this is rock 5 subtract rock 4 close the bracket here so this is equal to rock 1 plus square root of 5 subtract log 2 
So let's divide both signs here by rock 5, subtract rock 4, and also here by rock 5, subtract rock 4. Let's simplify here. Rock 5 minus 4, rock 4, simplify so that x will be equal to rock 1 plus square root of 5, subtract rock 2, divided by rock 5, subtract rock 4. Now, the next step from here, we have that x is equal to rock 1 plus square root of 5. This is the same thing as rock. This is 3.2361. Subtract rock 2, divided by rock 5, subtract rock 4. So we have that x is equal to, now rock, we have that rock 3.2361, this is the same thing as 0 0.5100, subtract rock 2, which is 0 0.3010, divided by rock 5a, which is 0 0.69897, subtract rock 4, which is 0 0.60206. So this implies that, now from here, we have that x is equal to 0 0.5100 minus 0 0.3010. This is the same thing as 0. 209 divided by we have 0 0.09 uh, that is 691 so this is equal to 2.1566 so this is the value of x the value of x is 2.1566 so the next step let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall here, if you recall, we entered 16 to power x plus 20 to power x. This is supposed to give us a value of 25 raised to power x. Substituting this value of x, we have 16 to power 2.1566 plus 20 this to power 2.1566, this is equal to 25, raised to power 2.1566. So, 16 raised to power 2.1566, this is equal to 395.18928, then plus... 20 raised to power 2.1566, which is 639.44219. This should give us a value of 25 raised to power 2.1566, which is 1034.6594. So from here, we have this as from the left hand side, if you see 395 plus 639 here, we'll have 1030, approximately 1035 here, which is equal to 1035. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x, which is 2.1566, satisfies the equation. So kind of follow the steps, like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.